Hello, friends, and welcome to Encouragement for Today. Rays of hope to carry us through these dark times of unrest. Today, friend, if I could get you to open your Bibles to Matthew's Gospel, chapter 8, we'll look at verses 5 through 13. There's just no better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Let's look at these scriptures together. Matthew 8, beginning with verse 5. And when he was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him, and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus saith unto him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, Go. And he goeth, and to another come, and he cometh, and to my servant do this, and he doeth it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled, and said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And I say unto you that many shall come from the east and the west, and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer, outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way, and as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And his servant was healed in the self same hour. My goodness, friend, what encouragement we find in these few verses of Scripture. I've titled this thought, Speak the Word Only. Speak the Word Only. Now, the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, he's entering into Capernaum, and here's a centurion soldier stopping him, and he begins to make a request to the Lord. Friend, one of the greatest things that you and I can do to stay encouraged and uh, to be where we should be with God is to beseech the Lord. Jesus said, Ask, and ye shall receive. Not and it shall be opened unto you. So here's the centurion soldier. He's doing just that. He's making his request known unto the Lord. When's the last time you've made your request known to the Lord? Now, he says, Lord, uh, my servant is sick of the palsy, and he's terribly tormented. And Jesus, out of respect for the position of uh, this centurion, he says, well, I'll come heal him. And notice what the centurion says humbly. He says, I'm not even worthy that you should come under my roof. But then notice what he says. But speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. Speak the word only. Now, I don't know where this man's faith came from. have no idea. have no idea where maybe he had heard of the master. Uh, maybe he uh, had uh, even witnessed some of the miracles that Jesus had performed. I just don't know. The Bible doesn't tell us. But the Bible does tell us what a man of faith in the Lord that he is. He had faith in the power of God to heal. 
And uh, he says here, I'm not worthy. Just say, just speak the word only. And then he shares with Jesus why he doesn't want him to come under his roof. I'm a man of authority. He said, uh, I say to this man, go, and he goes. To another, come, and he comes. To my servant, do this, and he does it. And Jesus marveled at this man's faith. In fact, he said, I've never saw such great faith. No, not in Israel. And he pretty much says that uh, those who are Israelites, they'll sit with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Uh, but because of their unbelief, will be cast out. And then Jesus said to the centurion, Go thy way, and as thou hast believed, notice what it says, and as thou hast believed. Now, if the centurion left that day with any doubt whatsoever, his servant would not have been healed. Jesus makes it very clear. Go thy way, and as thou hast believed. My friend, you know why many of us don't uh, receive the blessing of God? We pray for the blessing. We want to receive the blessing. But uh, we just not believe that he'll provide the blessing. Uh, many times we take uh, our desires and our needs to uh, an altar of prayer and we lay them at that altar of prayer and while we're praying there they are at the altar of prayer but then when we get up to go back to our seat we pick it up off of the altar of prayer and take it back to the seat with us Jesus makes it very clear here in verse number 13 he says to the centurion, Go thy way, and as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. Now this man had faith in the Lord's power to just say in the word only that his servant could be healed. And notice what it closes with here in verse 13. And his servant was healed in the self same hour. Why? Because this man had enough faith to believe that Jesus could speak the word only and his servant be healed. And Jesus spoke the word, but then made it very clear, as you believed, let it be done unto you. So friend, today, I want you to see that we serve a God who can just speak the word only and it be done unto you as you have believed. You know, too many times we placed our trust in everything else. It's time to understand that our God can still speak the word only and do great things. I don't know about you, Boy, it encourages me to know that I serve a God that, that's, that, that, that is that powerful. And friends, he wants to share all of that power with you to meet your needs. Now, you notice I said needs, not greeds, because we can be very greedy people. Just speak the word only. Powerful encouraging my friend God can and will encourage you let's pray together our loving heavenly father we thank you so much for this beautiful message and may we receive it right now in Jesus name to understand that you can just speak the word only and it be done thank you dear Lord for your blessings in Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I do pray that this has encouraged you today. And if you've been encouraged, I invite you to share this with others. 
You don't want to share this? Hey, encourage somebody. There's hurting people out there that needs to hear from you. Your life could be the Bible that God uses to speak to them. Always remember, your actions speak louder than your words. God bless you. Be encouraged. Share encouragement. And uh, have a wonderful day.